Rams win in Logan 64 to 66. They improved to four and three in Mount West play. And a bit of a surprise, Ari Wolf alongside Sid Bonner and said, we had two teams coming in looking for an identity, looking for a win. Colorado State only seven eligible players, but wow, did those guys deliver tonight. Heart and hustle. I mean, those guys played extremely hard, did a great job of effort on both ends of the floor. Stymied Utah State in the first half, kept them a 30% shooting from the floor, and that's what got them off to the good start. And the really good start helped keep the crowd out of the game. The crowd here in Logan can be a difference maker, but it was Omagbo going to work early. Emmanuel inside, doing doing it all. You see the numbers. Team had 41 rebounds. He had 16 of those boards. You see the cut ability, the ability to get to the rim off the dribble. Offensive putbacks. He was all over the floor. You see the face-up game right here. Was able to score at will at times, and I, and I think they need to go to him a little more offensively as you get a look at the final numbers. Well, the shooting not good enough for Utah State, and just three of 19 from beyond the arc. And the reason they've been successful at times in Mount West play is when they knock down the three. Well, they're 18% below their average. They shoot 70% from the free throw line. They shot 52% from the free throw line at home in a must-win game. That can't happen. Not good enough. So the Aggies will have to regroup. There's still a lot of season to go, but it was the Rams tonight. The Rams really look good, and we saw it on both ends of the floor. Gian Clavel, this was clutch, knocking down the jumper. So glad you joined us at Logan. We have a great time. Enjoy the rest of your weekend.